Now reattach the small spring at the bottom into the rear shoe and attach your new front shoe as well. The spring must go behind the tab as shown here. As you're hooking the front shoe into the spring, slide the shoe back into position and slide the end of the brake adjusting mechanism into the slot at the top of the shoe. The top of the shoe will also fit into the slot on the wheel cylinder and the bottom of the shoe slides behind the metal plate at the bottom. Now this is a lot to do all at once, so just take your time. Make sure that the pin on the backing plate goes through the hole in the center of the shoe. Just as on the rear shoe, put the clip over the pin and turn the pin 45 degrees so that the clip is locked into place and the head of the pin is fitted into the horizontal groove on the clip. Now take the short end of the large spring that we took off the top at the beginning and put it into this hole on the rear brake shoe. Using your brake spring tool, stretch it across and attach the opposite end into this hole on the front brake shoe. Use your needle nose pliers to push it in all the way and be sure it's completely seated. Through this hole you can see the star shaped wheel on the brake adjusting mechanism. You must now put this small arm back on. Slide the peg on the back of the arm into this hole on the front shoe. This tab on the arm slides behind the parking brake adjuster just like this. Take the vertically running spring and hook one end onto the arm like this, sliding into the groove of the arm. Now hook the bottom of the vertically running spring into this hole. The long end of the small arm will now rest on the star wheel. Now just put your brake drum on. Go to the back and you'll see a slot. Take your screwdriver or other tool and stick it into the slot and turn the star shaped wheel upwards. As it's turned, you'll hear a click. Now you must have the brake drum on when you do this. Keep turning the wheel and you'll hear a slight drag when you spin the brake drum. When you do, go ahead and put your tire back on using the star shaped pattern. Be sure that you put the hubcap on first. Start the lug nuts by hand, then tighten them down with a wrench. When putting any of your tires back on, the wheels must be torqued. Be sure to lower the car on the ground for this. You can often rent a torque wrench from your local parts store. Check your owner's manual and it will tell you how many pounds of pressure that your tires need. Spin the bottom of the handle of the torque wrench until it lines up with the number corresponding the pounds of pressure that you need to apply. Then set the lock on the wrench and hold it in place. Put the torque wrench on each lug nut and apply pressure until you hear the wrench make a popping sound. Pump your brakes before you drive the car and be sure to check your brake fluid level when you're finished.